Now, if you want to be able to control the amount of information that you can fit or display on your screen here, you want to work with your screen resolution. For example, do you have small icons that you can't see, but you can fit more of them on your screen? Or you have large icons that are too big, and you can't fit everything on your screen? In order to make those adjustments, you want to open up your screen resolution by finding a blank area somewhere on your desktop and right-clicking. Go down to Personalize, and then click on Display Settings here and there's your screen resolution. Now by default Windows Vista if you have a 17 inch monitor is going to give you a 1024 by 768. If you click and drag this resolution to something higher that means that the icons or information and even this training video is going to appear a lot smaller and can fit more on your screen. But if I go the other way and I lower my resolution and I click apply everything's going to be so big that even when you're watching this training video you're going to have to scroll up and down to see where my mouse is at which can be very annoying. So what you can do is increase the resolution here in your case to watch these training videos. You may want to go a lot higher so you don't have to scroll as high as you can go. Then after you're done watching my training videos, of course, you can always bring it back to whatever the default resolution was and, and continue on with your other work. 1024 by 768, click OK or click Apply. I'm back to square one. Now while I'm here, I'm going to talk about colors and talk about color depth. Color depth is the number of bits or color values used to define the color of a single pixel, and a pixel is like a little dot here in an image. So I've got all these images that you're seeing, and to be able to tell and separate one image from another, you've got to have a change of color within that pixel. So when I click on the drop down arrow, if you've got a really cool graphics card or a computer, you'll have a higher color or 32 bit versus 16. And what we want to look at is the contrast between different pixels. So if I can have a million shades in one little dot, that means that my shadows, that means that my games that I play, if it's 3D, or even the movies I watch, is going to be a richer experience because it can really define those images and the differences between shadows and characters and objects on my screen here. So you want to set that to the highest resolution here, and the highest here is 32-bit, which is really good. And if you can't get to high 32 or medium 16, your graphics card may not be that powerful and can only give you so many shades within a pixel, so your experience of watching movies and playing games may not be as rich. In any case, go to the highest. And next I want to talk about the refresh rate. The refresh rate is basically your monitor redrawing the image over and over again. It's refreshing. If it doesn't redraw the image over and over again, you won't be able to see it here. So what it does is it starts at the top of the screen and it draws lines all the way across, all the way down to the bottom. And if it did it once, you'd see a flicker and this would disappear. But because it has to keep this image up consistently, it has to keep redrawing the image over and over again. Now, if your resolution is very slow, so it takes a while to draw these images as it goes down, you may see flickering in your monitors, which can produce eye strain or even headaches. What you want to do is you want to be able to set the refresh rate, how fast it refreshes your screen here, as high as you can go. And to do that, click on the Advanced Settings, click on the Monitor tab, you can see mine 60 hertz. Now, before I click on the drop down arrow and change it, it's a good idea to check this box, hide modes that this monitor cannot display. What that means is that if I uncheck it and I click on the drop down arrow, it gives me just everything, all the refresh rates, all the way up to 200. Now, if I could get 200 and this monitor could support it, I would want it because that would produce less eye strain. But this isn't true because I want to be able to check the box to hide modes that this monitor cannot support. So when I click on the drop down arrow, the highest it can go or that it can support is 75. Select it, click apply, give it a second or two while it refreshes. Now it's refreshing the screen faster so there's less eye strain. And maybe you don't pick up on it, maybe you walk away and you find that you have more headaches on your office computer than your home computer. Well, check the refresh rate. Make sure that both your computers are set to the highest refresh rate as possible. Now some of the widescreen monitors, when you check hide modes, the highest it goes is 60 and you have no choice. Well, that's the way it goes then. Again, it depends upon your monitor. So make sure you have it at the highest. Click OK. And we're done with the display settings here. Click OK again and close out to my desktop. And finally, I want to show you how to adjust the size of your icons here on your desktop without messing with your screen resolution. Your resolution affects everything on your desktop. So everything's smaller, so you can fit more on your screen, or everything's larger, so you can fit less, but you can actually read the text or whatever you're looking at there and not have to strain your eyes because it's so tiny. Well, not having to change my screen resolution, but just the icons, go ahead and find a blank area on your desktop and right click, go down to view, and then come over here and say you want large icons. Wow, look at that. So much larger, aren't they? But more annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, go down the view. You can pick something smaller, but I like medium. That works well for me.